Alfredo Nevare. Nevare. And his opponent boxing out of the blue corner, this young man weighing in at an even 214 pounds, wearing a white dress with a solid gold trim. He too was a member of the 1992 Olympic team from New Zealand, undefeated as a professional, four consecutive wins, all of those wins coming by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Auckland, New Zealand, let's welcome Lou Duba's heavyweight sensation, David Terminator Tua. Tua. All right, folks, we got to insert into the dressing room. We don't have any questions. I want you to first protect yourselves at all times. And give me a good clean fight. Take hands and come out fighting. Lou Duva's young heavyweight prospect, the bronze medal winner of the 92 Olympics, representing New Zealand, 20-year-old David Tua, who turned pro last December. This is already his fifth fight in four months. He has had four setups so far, four wins, four knockouts, a couple in the first round, and uh, two more in the third. And uh, this one uh, looks to be another to add uh, to his total against the 27-year-old out of Tampa, Alfredo Navarez, who comes in with a record of 0-2, and, and certainly has never uh, met the likes of uh, David Tua, who is built along the lines of uh, Mike Tyson at 5'10", 214 pounds and getting bigger. He started out as a pro at 204 pounds. His first two fights were there. Then he moved up to 214, and now, then 216. Now he's back down to 214. He's trying to put, up, put on weight. You can tell a lot of the weight, too, in his legs. That's where his punching power comes from. David Tua. And he gets a busy forward advancing style. Likes to get with it. You know, you were talking about Reminiscent of Mike Tyson, he had bobs and weaves to the side, something Tyson was great at. But right now, uh, in the learning process as a pro, and uh, Lou Duva being very careful with who he puts in front of Tua, wants Tua to build the confidence, to build the record, and the knockout uh, also ledger. Tua lost in the uh, semifinals in the Olympics, but uh, when you take a look at him and his style, certainly more suited to the pro game. First round action, it is scheduled for six. Tua has uh, never gone beyond three, and we don't suspect that this one will either. And right now, Tua corners Navarez, who's able to get out of it. Navarro back into the corner and then bounces off. And Navarro boxes sometimes from the left-handed stance, sometimes from the right-handed stance. It appears that nobody has settled him down, taught him exactly how you should fight. Tua trying to give him some lessons here tonight. Tua with the punch. But Navarro looks as though he's, he's confused inside the rope. At home. Around the south Park. Of course, not too many people have a ring in their front room. Oh, there it is. Heavy shot, the uppercut. And look how that stands. Alfredo Navarro is on his nose. Oh, and he is hurt. Reaching for the ropes, he is out. Stop the fight. Good call by Roy Ovalle. David Tua with the uppercut, a la Mike Tyson, the side-to-side -side movement, the heavy punches, he can destroy. And just digging in at the end, it was one good solid shot to the body that did Navarro's in. And that's the third first-round knockout for David Tua. No real surprise in this one. Here it is again, Alfredo Navarro, who never was. And there was 